I'm Bob Brown, and uh, the Montana Historical Society has been a part of my life for most of my life. I first visited the Historical Society when I was a high school student back in the 1960s, and I've remained a, had a, an attachment to, to the place ever, ever since then. I also served in the state legislature, and uh, when I did, I came in contact with Dave Walter, uh, who had an association with the Historical Society until he died. Dave was a gold mine of interesting historical facts, particularly those that pertain to Montana. And I learned that from conversations I had with him, and on more than one occasion, when a member of the legislature, if something would come up that could be placed in a historical context, and I could kind of see how that could be the case, I'd call him to confirm the facts I thought I knew, or to maybe add to the facts I thought I knew that could be important to the debate on that particular issue. I probably did it a half a dozen times over 10 or 15 years. And Dave had this remarkable encyclopedic memory for facts and interesting little anecdotes and things that could bring history alive and make the point that I was trying to make in, in, the, in the legislature especially relevant and interesting. He was a great resource to me. The whole Montana Historical Society is full of people who are great resource people and, and documents and items that are that are wonderful but Dave in particular was important to me and uh, I'm so greatly sorry about his his passing uh, Montana is a poor place because of it but he sure helped me along the way when I was a state legislator 